What's going on you guys, it's your boy JMO coming back at it again with another episode of Let's Get Our Games Back Up and Running Without Any Delays. I truly appreciate everyone for their likes, comments, and support per usual on all of the videos and I know that we've been having a few couple months without any type of updates that have been happening on the game but you know sooner or later that those updates are right around the corner and with that being said we have another video coming today for us to make sure that we can get everything back up the way that we like to have it with our mods in the game and one thing that I did notice that I just want to start off first is that when Grand Theft Auto 5 did recently update we had a new battle eye software or cheating anti-cheating software that was installed with this update I want to give everybody some steps on disabling the anti-cheat software that Grand Theft Auto has recently updated the game with and you can do so by opening up your Grand Theft Auto Rockstar Launcher go into settings and then under the battle eye option you want to make sure that you don't have this on so if you have this on you want to go ahead and turn that off and that's going to make sure that the battle eye error message isn't showing up stating that the den put eight um, file is not able to, to bring right, you guys and after you got that step done we're gonna go to our script hook V website as we already know we got to come back here to get that most recent updated script hook I have the link in the description as well for you guys to go ahead and get directly to this link so as we can see the update just came today so September 20th 2024 we're looking for version 1.0.3323.0 so if you don't have that current version we're gonna hit that download button right here and get that file downloaded so we can update our game and have the most recent script hook files so that our game can go ahead and work now with the game config shout out to the F7YO team because they always make sure we have the most recent game config files up to date but for right now we still have that version 33 which still should work with the most recent script hook update in this video but I'm pretty sure he'll be working on something in the near future here so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and download that script hook v file once we have that file downloaded this is what it's gonna look like we open that file up and we're gonna open the bin folder and you guys already know the two main files that we're looking for is that din put 8 file and the script hook v file so once you have both of these files selected, we're gonna open up our Grand Theft Auto 5 folder that's located under the Rockstar folder or Rockstar Games folder. Open up our Grand Theft Auto main directory folder and we're gonna drag these two files from the script hook folder into our main Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Now see, I've already done this, so it's asking me to replace these files. If you haven't done so already, you still would need to replace the files in the game because it's the previous version. Now, once you've done so, this information will go ahead and update the rest of the game so that we can be able to play our game the way that we like to play it. All right, you guys, moving forward. So after we do have our two files updated in our Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory folder, that then put eight file in the script hook V file. The next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and close out of that script hook V folder. And then we're going to open up our Rockstar games folder once again, going into our Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory folder we're going to open up our update folder and we're going to drag a copy of the update 2.rpf file onto our desktop this way we can make sure that we have the most updated update 2.rpf file in our open iv when we do launch the game so again we're going to drag that update 2.rpf file onto our desktop so that it copies this file and then what we're going to do is open up open iv and make sure that we update that information in there as well so this was just updated as of yesterday for mine. You might have a previous date on here because I had just turned my game on yesterday. However, if you turn it on before yesterday, then you might have a, a last modified date of something previous. So as we already know, we're gonna open up that open IV. We're gonna hit that edit mode, make sure that we can change anything in this file. We're gonna go to our mods folder, update. And right here with that update 2.rpf file is we're going to click the green plus button to go into our desktop and we're going to upload that update 2.rpf file that we just saved on there. So once I hit this and I open this up, then it's updating that folder right there. Once that's said and done, we can go ahead and stop the edit mode from running. We can minimize open IV. If you didn't already do so, you can already go ahead and, or excuse me, if you didn't already do so, you can also go ahead and include the game config, the most recent game config file, whichever works for you. And in the near future, that game config file will also have a different version number as well. So that's the best way to be able to tell if you're using the current version or not. And also by looking at the date that the last download was for. 
However, with that being said, after we have all of those files updated, we have our battle eye turned off or disabled and the script hook and then put eight files updated in our Grand Theft Auto main directory folder, we can go ahead and open up the Rockstar Launcher and launch the game and see exactly what our results bring us. All right, you guys, as y'all can see, we got our games back up and running, walking outside to this beautiful Lamborghini right here, wide body kit, and you know we got to have a twin turbo. Look at the ass on this thing, man. Look at the exhaust on this. Good God almighty. V10 engine, twin turbo. You already know what time it's on. And we got the four Giados. Make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe button, man. I truly appreciate y'all for the likes, comment, and support like always. And if there's going to be an update, you know we're going to make sure that we get that game back up and running, man. So with that being said... Truly appreciate everyone for the likes, comment, and support. Wow, this thing is fast. And I will catch y'all in that next video.